If you could guys uh, act in any previous Stephen King uh, movie adaptation, which one would you choose? Hmm. Interesting question. I'm hawking for the next job, so I'm gonna say Dark Tower series. Um, if anyone, if anyone's looking for someone for for the fantasy. I've always written stories <laughs> about things that are so terrible. You'll run away until your brain won't remember. Hello, Lewis. Hello, Mackenzie. How are you? I'm oh, good. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Congratulations on selling slot. I think it's such a great horror movie. I love to have some amazing horror actions, uh, action sequences as well. And I heard that Stephen King gave his blessing to this project. This is his favorite book. It's also one of his first ones. Tell me, how this adaptation honors his legacy and the source material? Good question. Um, you know, I think Gary Doberman, our director, was the perfect person to tackle that for those those reasons. It was a big challenge, you know, and I think it was probably daunting for many. Um, um, and Gary's like an avid, avid, diehard Stephen King from day one fan, read every single word he's ever put uh, on paper. Um, and so he was really didn't take it lightly that, you know, he was trying to fit quite a long book into a, a, a feature length uh, time. And so he really had the perfect distinction as to what we could um, afford to kind of lose in terms of many of these beloved characters and parts of the book and what was the integral spirit of this book. And I thought he did it really well. The horror tension is built up from the beginning, but the, the way it escalates in the second act is actually amazing, taking the audience very ab abruptly. We have such a great and horrifying uh, vampire scenes. Walk me through the process of creating the perfect atmosphere to snatch the audience. We leave that up to our brilliant cinematographer. As far as creating that atmosphere, right? It's like it's the set designers. It's the it's it's more the crew than it is than it is the actors. In in that case, um, yeah, that is where we are. Kind of like little little set pieces you can move around. Sure, yeah. they were all very in lockstep with each other yeah. only about what the world was going to look like and feel like. Um, but yeah, we weren't really let in on that part of the process because we don't really have a say in that um, as we as I shouldn't have because I wouldn't have been able to contribute. But it looked amazing and it felt like a world that, you know, when you're sitting in it and standing in it and immersed in it, you, you, you can't help but through osmosis kind of I think just the tone kind of comes out of you, you know. Um, so that was that's one of the many um, blessings of being able to be in good hands. If you could guys uh, act in any previous Stephen King uh, movie adaptation, which one would you choose? Hmm, interesting question. I'm hawking for the next job, so I'm going to say Dark Tower series. Um, if anyone, if anyone's looking for someone for for the fantasy. And I'm going to switch up my answer actually, and I'm going to say da the Dark Tower series, so that I. Oh can yeah. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not because you want like the the paycheck of multiple. Not about seasons. that for me. They for me. They can kill yeah. me on season one. No. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much. It was such a huge pleasure to be able to talk to you too. Congratulations on the movie. You guys are amazing. There's a vampire scene in the third act that I loved. There's so much physicality, and you guys did great there. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes. Thank Stay.